Okay, how are you everybody? Today we're at the Italian Festival here at Wakefield and it's a wonderful day and I just wanted to introduce Jen Migliori. I yep. get it? You got oh, it, right? right yeah, right. at the Italian Festival. The Italian, Italian last names are difficult sometimes. And Jen is running this year and uh, she's going to be uh, the election of September, I mean the 8th of the 8th of September. Of September. Yeah, Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. It's a Thursday. Yeah. How uh, how'd you get involved with this? What made you decide to, to, to take this path? Yeah, so um, I'm just, thank you so much, Tom, for the opportunity nice to, to interview. Um, I'm so glad to be here. Um, I'm really running to bring new energy and enthusiasm for the town of Wakefield and to make sure that we're getting our fair share of the state of Massachusetts. I was working for Congressman Moulton, the new generation of leadership up on Capitol Hill. He's a great congressman for Wakefield. Um, and he really inspired me to run for office. Uh -huh. um, I loved constituent services, and I think we need a full-time strong rep on Beacon Hill representing Wakefield and getting things done like the Reels Trail, cleaning up the lake, revitalizing the downtown. There's a lot on the horizon, so I'm so glad to be in this and I'm just so glad to be at the Italian Festival. Well, it is amazing. It really is. And, uh, it, it's just a beautiful day. They expect thousands of people to be here. Yeah. So, And I just happened to notice your booth over there. It's set up really nice. Yeah. And you're giving away free cookies or something? Yeah, no, so um, my about? booth, um, one of my best friends, Lauren Donati, we went to elementary school together. She just opened up on the corner of Main Street where the Italian kitchen used to be, the bread shop. Um, she's a young, great woman with a ton of energy. So we partnered up. Um, and we are trying to get the word out about the Migliori campaign and also about the bread shop, which just, just opened up. That's wonderful. Very yeah. good. Well, good luck with your run, and I hope to hear, see, hear from you soon. Thank you. I hope to run through brick walls for you, Tom. Right. It's Thank good you. to see you. Here we are with Representative Donald Wong, and we're going to have a few words about the festival. Donald, have you been here before to these festivals? Uh, yes, I've been here every year, and it's a great thing. It helps to bring the community out and support the local businesses here. Right. Uh, I did. I bought uh, gliders from Gorillo, a local company in Wakefield, and that's what we want to do. Everyone supporting the local community and it's a great thing. Everyone's coming out and I can't say thank you for everyone that's supporting us. Very good. Well, I know you've done a lot for Wakefield and uh, recently you know, you, a couple of bills have passed that you were involved with and I'm sure everybody's grateful for that too. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You know, thank uh, you. Very good and look forward to seeing you down the road again. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, my name's Anthony Guardia. I'm here with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Stoneham and Wakefield. We're at the Italian Festival. I'm going to do an interview with one of our most prominent club members, Kevin, here. Kevin, how are you? I'm good. Hi. How long have you been a member of the Boys and Girls Clubs? Um, since last year. Two years. So you've been here for a while. So the club's only been there for three years. So two out of three years. That's great. What do you like best about the Boys and Girls Clubs of Stoneham and Wakefield? Um. They're just fun in general. I can't choose one thing. We're happy to be here and to uh, support the town. This is a great event. It's a lot of fun. If you weren't here this year, definitely come next year. For us personally, it helps get our word out, get the message out, tell more kids, have more fun. We've been playing games all day with the Wakefield Rec Department. We've been selling uh, brick donations. We've been giving out stickers. We've been giving out prizes. Uh, it's been a blast. Michaels from Remax Leading Edge. And you've been coming to Festival Italia? 
Yes, we have. I we take turns with it, right? Different right. locations, but yes, we have. And um, I've been in the business over 28 years. I live in Wakefield. I love Wakefield. We live by the lake, and um, it's a wonderful place. So Remax at Leading Edge is all about being involved with the community, helping sellers get their house ready for sale, ready to market, and also helping buyers finding that right house in a great community. Meg, you could probably yes. add something. <laughs> no, that, that's what we like to do. We yeah. like to, you know, find the right buyers for the right sellers good, and good. keep everybody happy. Wakefield's a fantastic community, so much to offer with a real hometown feel. The downtown is phenomenal. They're working on improving little components of the downtown area. And I think there's so many people within the community that want to help out in different areas. And that's what it's all about, doing what makes most sense to you and what works for the community. And it's perfectly located. It's perfectly located for 128 for getting on the train to Boston, and we are the most blessed community to have the beautiful lake right there. Here we are here at the Interact table here at Rotary. Two lovely young ladies here. Brianna, who is the president of Interact this year. And then we have Emily. Are you the treasurer? Secretary. Secretary, okay. I'm supposed to know this stuff, but, you know, once in a while we mess up. But we're all trying to get together here with, with all the Interact people to uh, fund our trip to New York in the fall. So that's what this is all about. And uh, these two lovely young ladies are going to spend the whole day here till 11 o'clock tonight with... Uh, <laughs> you didn't know that? You didn't know that? 11 o'clock. We've got lights and everything, so, you know, it won't be dark. <laughs> all right. But anyways, they've got all kinds of raffles here and everything, and we're looking forward to it. So, Brianna, what do you have? Anything to say? Um, um, that's it? Um, um, no. New York is just a really fun trip, and we're really excited to go again if we have enough funds for it and it was a real it was a learning experience and it was fun to explore new york city all right okay i'm not going to let you off the hook oh, okay um no interact i joined last year and all the girls who are part of it um they're fun to be around and everyone gets along and tom of course makes it fun as well so it's good to be a part of so yeah a little political work there huh all right I, I must admit, though, last year Emily did buy me a cup of coffee in New York's <laughs> Times Square. Really, really nice. I appreciate it. Okay, that should do it. Okay, lots of raffles going on here. Thank you. Bye now. <laughs>